In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can trigger an opt-in monster pop-up with the help of Google Tag Manager. All and more, coming up. Hey there, Magic Geeks, Julian here, back with another video. Today, we wanna to talk about Opt-in Monster and their pop-ups. Now, we oftentimes use Opt-in Monster on our website itself to drive people to sign up for something or give them a download. When I first signed up to Opt-in Monster, I really looked forward to using it in combination with Google Tag Manager. Well, you can install Optin Monster through Google Tag Manager, but there wasn't actually a native way to trigger these pop-ups with the help of the trigger capabilities of Google Tag Manager. That's why we had to come up with a little workaround and now we can utilize all the goodness of the data layer in combination with our triggers of Google Tag Manager to trigger great pop-ups of Optin Monster. Do you wanna know how this works? Well, as you can see, we got lots to cover, so let's dive in. Today our journey starts inside of our Optin Monster account. If you have an account, then you're probably familiar with the setup process already. It's pretty easy. So we're just gonna go create a new campaign here. You can choose between the different campaign types. I'll just go with the classic pop-up, which is the easiest. And let's go with this donate template. Give this all a name and select on which page you want to show this on. So let's start building this. And we have a nice countdown, some information, and then a button itself. Now I'll leave it up to you to play around with this and change it around however you want. We're just gonna go ahead and talk about how we can implement this on our page. So the next step would be to choose the display rules. So time on page, at least five seconds. And then you can choose and add on different other rules. So we have here the current URL path is any page. So it will be shown after five seconds on any page. And again, you can change this around to your heart's content. We'll go ahead and click on integrations. It's not something we really need to care about. If you have any opt-in fields, we would integrate them with our CRM. The analytics, I'm also going to leave untouched, but now we come to the publishing itself. And we'll just ignore these options right here. I want to talk about the platforms right here. So normally you can deploy OptiMonster via the rule set that we put into the display rules and implementing it on any website or through a monster link. That's a special condition as well. Or if you just want to have this specific campaign displayed with a specific code, you could use the campaign embed option, which will give you a code that is specific for that campaign. Now, I would argue that you actually should take the any website code right here and copy it and then go over to your Google Tag Manager account and implement this as a general tag for your opt-in monster. So we'll go ahead and click on tags and opt-in monster pop up on all pages. So this is the general code that we're gonna de deploy. We'll go with a custom HTML tag and paste our code in here. You will need to check the option support document right because this JavaScript code actually will implement the pop-up via this functionality of JavaScript. So be sure to tick that on and then you choose as the trigger all pages. So it will be deployed on all the pages. So let's save this and go into a preview and debug mode. And then on our page where we have Google Tag Manager already installed. Well, it doesn't show it. Right here we have Google Tag Manager installed. Our opt-in monster pop-up now is automatically deployed. Now our campaign is not yet live, but let's go ahead and click that on live, save this all, go back to our page and reload that. And after five seconds, we see here that our pop-up appeared and we can interact with it now. Now this goes actually to Optin Monster. Let's so let's go back, and this is really the way of implementing Optin Monster through Google Tag Manager. If you simply want to utilize the display rules that are available within the tool, and there are some really cool ones such as time on page, obviously the page targeting, if the user is about to exit the page, and if you are upgraded to certain versions, you'll be also able to do the location or returning visitors. 
But what if you are actually well versed in Google Tag Manager and you know the different trigger types that are available and you know that you could build these rules either easily yourself or you want to utilize the capabilities of Google Tag Manager such as YouTube video tracking in order to show your pop-up at a certain time. So that's when you need to change your deployment slightly. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's go ahead with a little example here and actually use our YouTube video trigger to fire our tag and deploy our pop-up, show our pop-up to our users. So I'm just gonna click on this right here and we can configure it on our page itself. We have a video page right here. We have a YouTube video embedded and this is what we want to track. Let's say if somebody starts the video and watches more than 50% of the video, we want to then show our little pop-up. So in order to make this work, we'll need to configure first of all our YouTube trigger. Let's say our YouTube trigger and we'll just keep it very general right now. We want to capture the start and complete it and the pause phase or seeking phase and then also the progress. And the progress that I want to know about is specifically when somebody reaches 50%. We want to add our JavaScript API support, deploy this on DOM ready, and yep, that should do it. Let's save this. Actually, what you also need to have enabled are some of the variables right here, so we can see the video percentage. I have it already, so you need to have this enabled. And now we can just try out the listener functionality of this trigger. So we can reload our page here. Our listener should start listening on DOM ready right here. And if you start the video, we should see something. Yes, there's a YouTube video event and we are video percent of zero. Let's go ahead and go further. And here we are at 52%. And that's when we already want to fire our tag. So now we can refine our trigger a bit. Go back to Google Tag Manager and change our YouTube trigger into above 50%. And let's go ahead and put in some conditions here. So only on some videos where the video percent is greater than 50, we want to deploy our tag. So the trigger is now defined correctly. Now what do we put in here in order to show our tag? Well, you know now that there are display rules that we have defined inside of Optin Monster. If you want to utilize the display rules right here, you can do so and you just need to have our general tag installed. But since we want to utilize the triggers inside of Google Tag Manager, we actually need to get rid of these conditions altogether and only choose one condition, which is the monster link condition. Okay, we can now save this and go to our publish section. And here we still go with our any website tag, but what we would need is the campaign to be more specific campaign ID in order to tell Optin Monster which campaign to deploy. And we can find the ID actually here inside of the URL. You could also go into monster share of monster link. Here it is again, or in the campaign embed, here it is again. So you need to have that ID. And then inside of Tag Manager, we leave our general tag here untouched. It's like the library that loads in the Facebook pixel and simply attach a new custom HTML tag. Go over to new. And embed a little bit of code, which I have already prepared. And this code will then deploy our pop-up. So what we need to change here is definitely the campaign ID. So again, this is up in the URL of your campaign builder. And down here as well, we need to just simply replace this. Now, what will this code do? First of all, it will deploy or append a div element to our page. And this div element has certain attributes, so we know how to target it. Now this div element will also act as kind of a button or something that you need to click in order to show the pop-up. Optin Monster calls these monster links, but really it's just a div that isn't really visible because we have to put this to display none. Now in the background, then we take a little bit of JavaScript, search for this element and then 
click it. So it's a virtual click via JavaScript really. We implement the div, click it, and that then triggers the right pop-up. So let's try this all out. We give this a name or OptiMonster pop-up for our video viewed. And let's attach our trigger. And now again, this pop-up or this general code, we could just call a general code right here. It's just a library that gets deployed. It doesn't do anything on your page itself unless you give it a command of this second pop-up here that the video was viewed and the button is clicked and then that will show your pop-up. So let's go ahead and preview this. And on our video page, let's reload that. So we don't have any pop-up right here, but once we start playing the video, we still at 0% here. And here we are still at 37. So let's go ahead and go to 50. And you can see our pop-up just fired because our tag was actually deployed. I don't know why it doesn't show it. Yeah, it shows it here. So the, the video was deployed and we see our pop-up from Optin Monster. And you can obviously do this with any kind of other trigger. So the click trigger, the element visibility trigger, the scroll trigger, and so on. You can utilize any kind of triggers that you want with this little syntax in combination of the embedding of this node and then clicking of that node. And then that will deploy and show your pop-up or your banner that you have defined via Optin Monster. So this is a method to deploy many different Optin Monster banners or pop-ups on your page and triggering them individually via Google Tag Manager. You could also do this if you have the right data layer information in there and only fire this for certain people, for example. So you can be very specific with the targeting via Google Tag Manager and simply use Optin Monster as a way to build these kind of pop-ups, but deploy them through GTM. All right, so there you have it. This is how you can trigger opt-in monster banners with the help of Google Tag Manager. I'd love to hear from you what you will utilize this for. Leave me a comment down below and so we can learn from each other. And if you haven't yet, which I can't really imagine because I mentioned it multiple times already, you should click that button over there to subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with what we do here. Now, as always, my name is Julian. Till next time.